So recently I took my pen mod, began to spin and thought that there are some things in pen spinning which are pretty interesting. And I wonder if anyone else also thought about them. Yellow Spinner, you're on Penstock channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Sukhov and today I will tell you 5 interesting facts about pen spinning. Also I will tell you my thoughts about why each of them takes place. Fact number 1 is about normal and reverse tricks. When you do normal tricks in pen spinning with your right hand, you move your pen clockwise. When you do reverse tricks, you move your hand counterclockwise. It is true for all the tricks you make, so when you are not sure about which kind of finger pass you are you're doing, just look at how your pen moves. If it moves clockwise, then you do finger pass, if it goes counterclockwise, you do pass reverse. This is a complete truth for all the tricks except for all arounds. All normal arounds are made counterclockwise and reverses are made vice versa. So past, for example, by the way, I have a video tutorial for this trick. If you haven't done it before, go and watch this video. So busts are in fact background reverse and bust reverse is background normal. I can assume why it's happening, most likely because thumb around is a fundamental trick and fundamental can be reverse. It would be pretty awkward. And as thumb around goes counterclockwise, so by inertia all arounds go also counterclockwise. Fact number two. Power style is the most popular style among beginners. It is fun to watch, fun to do and fun to learn also. But people who focus on power style tend to quit pen spinning more often than those who focus on other styles, which are less spectacular and sexy. I think that this happens because power style is solely based on technical execution. Not solely though, but mostly. People grind hard tricks, pretty much known linkages and repetitive motions, such as continuous tricks and linkages and so on. And at some point it becomes a little bit boring, because as time passes they got to a decent level and don't see much room to move on, to develop their skill, to get something new from pen spinning. They can make thousands of busts, but they can't develop busts for eternity. To move on they need to adopt a little bit. They need to get used to another style, and another style mostly requires lighter pens. And as power stylers mostly get used to heavy pen mods, it is hard for them to switch and lighter pen mods. Because when, when they take light pen mods after heavy ones, it feels like they degenerate in their skill. Yeah, this is just a feeling, because they don't lose their skill, actually, but it feels like that and it is very difficult to get rid of this feeling. Nobody likes it and not many people agree to do that, so they have two options. Either they go further and do incredible things, like I suck, for example, but it requires tremendous efforts. Not everyone can apply those. Or they eat dirt, trying to adapt to lighter pen mods, developing another, more creative style. Not many people agree to that as well so most of them quit. Fact number 3. There is no such thing as incorrect execution of trick. Sounds funny, right? But in fact, all the tricks and ways of do doing them are pretty much conditional. They were designed just to make learning easier. What's funny is that oldies, when they get to some point, they tend to forget how they were noobs and try to simplify things by getting reads out of names, reducing terms. That's why so many times you can hear such sentences as we don't need hybrids, we don't need to use terms warped sonic. Yeah, as like it gets it easier for newcomers. But instead, as I think, it just makes uh, entry point to pin spinning higher for rookies. Because again, guys, rules, names, terms, ways of execution were designed just to make your learning and getting into pen spinning easier and smoother. By the way, I've made a video about the more detailed explanation of this meta. You can watch it by clicking the card or all the linkage also are in the description under this video on YouTube. Yeah, by the way, all this I remember times when all this told me that we don't need tutorials for open spinning tricks and linkages because dude, you can just slow down a video and repeat after a pen spinner. Good luck with learning guitar basics by slowing down Joseph Triani's solos. So where was I? Yeah, 
There is no such thing as incorrect execution, so if you want to do thumb around reverse raising your thumb, it is okay. Yeah, here and there you can hear people advising, not advising, but require you to make thumb around reverse without moving thumb. Correct execution is just a recommendation for you to just learn trick easier. It may easily not work for you. Fact number four. You can efficiently learn tricks within 30-40 minutes after 15 to 20 minutes warming up by doing freestyles and of course gymnastic for your fingers, which I have shown you in one of my previous videos, even in two of them. After from 30 to 40 minutes, maximum one hour, your efficiency drops sufficiently each five minutes. And you'd better switch a trick to learn, but if you switch them too often, your efficiency is even lower. Also, your efficiency is pretty low when you're trying to spin and watch something else. It is a bit higher when you try to listen to something else, but the highest efficiency you have when you're totally focused on doing tricks, when you pay whole attention to practicing and present here with a pen. Since pen spinning is a hobby made for fun. Anyone is free to choose how to practice, whether they want to practice while watching something else, which will be less efficient, or practice and give all their attention to practicing. As for me, for example, I love doing pen spinning while watching some series with my wife. So you can guess my efficiency is not very high. But I have a lot of fun. Fifth fact. When you spin Jigao, your pen spinning level degenerates. But seriously, your pen mods influence your style sufficiently. It has a huge influence on the way you do tricks and the tricks you do. So if you wanna have a smooth style but take heavy pen mod, you're doing it wrong, buddy. And more your spinny pen, more influence it has on your style. So when you spin a Jigao, you can be pretty much sure that your style is about to be